Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on log applications and in this video I'm going to focus on earthquakes and the Richter scale. So here I have a list of four earthquakes. They're real. It's really easy to find earthquakes. You just Google them. They're happening all the time. It is actually pretty remarkable to look up how many earthquakes are happening all the time. Maybe not these big ones, but they're out there. And what we want to do is we want to compare these four earthquakes to each other, but also look at what would make an earthquake stronger or weaker than one of these. Okay, so the thing about the Richter scale is the Richter scale is a logarithmic scale. So the power of the earthquake is actually 10 to whatever the number on the Richter scale is. So if an earthquake is 16,550 times more powerful than the California earthquake, what we need to do is we need to make 16,550 into um, what exponent, 10 to what exponent would equal 16,550? Well, the way we do that is we use log, the inverse of an exponential, and the log of 16,550 literally answers, because log without a base is base 10, because we live in a base 10 society, literally answers 10 to what power is 16,550. Logs are exponents. Okay, so if an earthquake is 16,550 times more powerful than California, well, California is 3.7, and to be more powerful, we have to add this exponent, and if we do this, we get 7.9, on the Richter scale. Okay. If an earthquake is a hundred thousand times weaker than the Japan earthquake, what would it be? What would it, its magnitude be on the Richter scale? Well, the Japan earthquake, we start at 9.1, and weaker means we subtract. Again, we meet, need to make this hundred thousand an exponent so we take the log of a hundred thousand but because a hundred thousand is a power of ten we can actually turn this into nine point one minus let's see this is ten to the one two three four five minus five which means we have a four point one on the Richter scale okay now let's see now we're going to talk about power in general. So how many times more powerful was the Japan earthquake compared to the California earthquake? Well, we have the numbers here. California was 3.7, Japan 9.1. And to compare them, the strength, again, is 10 to what power? So to figure out the comparative strength, we just find the difference in the earthquakes, 9.1 minus 3.7, but we make those exponents of 10. So 10 to the 9.1 minus 3.7. This becomes 10 to the 5.4, which is 251,188.6 times stronger. Times stronger. Okay. Next we have how many times weaker was the Alaskan earthquake compared to the Indonesian? Okay, well, the Alaskan, it was a 4.0. The Indonesian is a 6.4, so we're comparing the 6.4 and the 4.0. Okay, so if we come back down here, we have 10 to the 6.4, that's the Indonesian minus the 4.0, that's the Alaskan, which gives us 10 to the 2.4, which will give us 251.2 times weaker. Times weaker. Okay, and last we have how much stronger is the Alaskan earthquake compared to the California earthquake? Well, the California was this 3.7, the Alaskan is this four, we have 10 to the four minus 3.7, which is 10 to the 0 0.3, which is gonna give us a grand total of two times stronger. From a mathematical point, when we're talking about these really huge numbers, two doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm guessing feeling the earthquakes, you can tell when one is stronger than the other one. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, 
and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!